hello, hello, and welcome back to the 3 Up Moon live stream, everybody. It is September 23rd, 2022. I hope everyone's having a good day out there and has been having an okay week. Happy Friday. We are diving into episode 30 of our horror and spooky and Halloween themed retro roulette. We started this back in July 2021, and this is an ongoing series we've done with many different themes of games. But because autumn is right around the corner and we are basically right into heading into October, we're going to dive into more spooky and Halloween and horror themed games. The last couple of days we've been messing around with this and you can actually go in and spin the wheel and interact. You can spin the wheel and whatever game we land on, I have to play. So at the beginning of all these streams we always do an initial wheel spin and you can normally catch me here starting around this time every single day, around 5 or 6 p.m. Pacific. If you're hanging out on Wednesdays and Thursdays, that's my weekend and I usually stream during the day around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Pacific on those days. We've had a lot of fun this past week with some classic horror games, and our first spin today is actually another classic. It's Donkey Kong Arcade on the NES, something I grew up with. I, I grew up with DK Classics and and uh, DK1 and Junior on, on the NES, so that was a lot of fun growing up. We're going to be playing a ROM hack of it called Freddy vs. Jason. So it's, <laughs> it's hacked by Pack and Sack Dave, who's done a lot of really funny sort of uh, satirical license game hacks, like graphical hacks. So yeah, we're playing Donkey Kong. Uh, Mighty Collector, welcome in. Itarama, welcome in. And Mike, Motorbike Mike, how's it going? Dropping that Snorlax, now I gotta get the Poco Flute. Jeez. Sheesh. <laughs> and Mighty Collector dropping that mad DK sprite. That is actually a sprite from, is it the Atari 2600 port of Donkey Kong? It's pretty funny. Well, welcome in, everyone. Mike, I hope you're having an awesome week. It's been forever. Thank you so much for that shirt. That is such an awesome shirt. Uh, my cousin Mike, Motorbike Mike, sent me a Krongbin shirt. Krongbin's just an awesome, really awesome band, if you haven't heard of them. Um, yeah, I really like it. I've worn it many times now already. And thank you for the ice cream. Michelle and I, uh, we ended up choosing our own flavor of ice cream. Um, and we ended up picking pistachio, lime, and blueberry. It was so good. Yep, that is from Donkey Kong on the 2600. <laughs> Pretty funny. So one of my favorite classic, classic arcade games is Donkey Kong Jr. Um, so this will be just a, a version of, of DK, but uh, you know, I'm always down to play D DK Jr. I hope everyone's had a great week too. It's been a pretty, pretty wild one. So stick around, it won't be long. We've got some more autumn vibes with our Pokemon playlist, and then Freddy vs. Jason DK Edition. Up next. You can also spin the wheel anytime you like, stopping me in my tracks and forcing me to play something else. Also taking a bit of a break this uh, this weekend so tomorrow I might be doing some streaming late night in the evening um, just in the discord but tomorrow I'm doing a family dinner thing so I'll be doing that and then sort of like an early Thanksgiving and then Sunday I've been hanging out with my band haven't uh, haven't hung out with the band in a while so we've just been been getting together regularly on Sundays um, but I'll be back on Monday with a regular schedule and the following weekend I will actually be out of town I'm going on a second camping trip so that'll be fun another lakeside camping trip hopefully it is not gonna shift weather wise to be too cold or too wet
All right, folks. You should be able to hear it. Hopefully it's not too loud. You let me know. <laughs> Freddy versus Jason. I love that they messed around with the music. <coughs> the music, excuse me. <laughs> and they didn't just keep the classic music. Now here's a trick I learned from one of my babysitters. When I was a kid, I was always afraid of these barrels coming down the ladder that I'm on. And you'll notice that my hand is one pixel up. It is literally one pixel above, um, like on the ledge. If it's any higher or lower than that, this won't work. But we will never get hit by a barrel this way. We'll also never, of course, <laughs> that'll happen. But we'll never run into a situation where a barrel will come down the ladder that we have our hand on, if that makes sense. So if you want to stop barrels from coming down this ladder that we're on, just wait right there with one pixel above it. This is something I learned from my babysitter, and it was a, a pretty cool trick, actually. Because, like, otherwise, it will come down. And it's just kind of a nice little trick to, to use. It only works in DK1. Nice little trick for, uh, basically, just manipulating it, so... It's kind of a, a different way to dodge, besides jumping over barrels. Oh wow, I just like totally inhaled uh, Samosa. Cause that's, I mean, that's what lungs are for, right? Is to inhale Samosas. Just making some most of it. Oh, that's bad. Okay. That was risky. We are actually two pixels higher. So it could have still climbed down uh, that chain, so to speak. No! That was dumb. nothing to do with this hack, that's for sure. This is exactly how the game normally works. Fuck that. <laughs> no! me of Super Mario Land 2, because they actually have these hockey mask Goombas that have uh, machetes, like, stuck in the in the forehead of the mask. <laughs> you wouldn't think that, like, a, a handheld kid's Mario game would have that as a standard enemy, but they do have a really cool, like, spooky, uh, it's the, called the Pumpkin Zone, really cool series of levels. I guess is the idea that Freddy, yeah. <laughs> So stupid. Freddy and Jason are fighting over the victim. <laughs> it's, that's the dumbest thing ever. That was this was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I have to say, Freddy vs. Jason when it came out back in the day. Such an anticipated, um, I guess, like meeting. 
But it's such a it's such a disappointing result. Having those two characters meet up. Come on. There we go. Hey, we we <laughs> racked up a couple of points. Can't complain. I'm a fan of classic horror movies. I don't know if I'm a fan of slasher flicks as much as I'm a fan of horror movies. That makes sense. Love me a good zombie movie. Love me a movie about vampires, werewolves, classic universal monster movies. I like the idea that there are like franchises and series like Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff like that, but it's not exactly my cup of tea. In terms of horror. Maybe. Now remember, I try to give each one of these games with the retro roulette an honest shot, so even if it's not a fantastic game or it's janky, I'll still try to give it an honest shot. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Come on. Really? I was just trying to show it off. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this nonsense. some pretty funny crossovers uh, over the years in the comic book world and one of them and I've posted about this in the comic zone in the discord but one of them is actually funny enough uh, spider-man and of course because you know spider-man takes place in New York spider-man does actually meet for a promotional comic um, or actually it's just a promotional opportunity like it I think it was an official <clears throat> amazing spider-man issue I'm pretty sure or a spectacular Spider-Man or something, but basically Spider-Man has to attend to like some commotion that's happening in the sewers and ends up finding Jason and it came out and coincided with the Jason Takes Manhattan Friday the 13th film. And so it was supposed to happen at the same time. The idea is that it was canonically happening when Jason escaped to Manhattan. I mean, you could do tons of crossovers if New York is your main, your main through line. <clears throat> like the Muppet, you could do the Muppets. You could have the Muppets. You could have Jason, and you could have the Ninja Turtles all meet each other. And have a fight at the Statue of Liberty. And I mean, technically, <clears throat> that means Casey Jones and Jason Voorhees could meet. And Jason would just destroy him. He would just be like, The hell are you doing stealing my style? And then rip him in half. Oh! Can't let you grab and DK. <laughs> Shh. 
just gotta wait for this, uh... Fireball? I'm fireballing here! I'm fireballing here! Get out of the way! Oh, that was by the pixel. That was so close. Game should be quieter, the mic should be louder. Oh shit, okay. How about we do both? Quiet again, louder mic. That's probably okay. Did you hear that mic? You have to be louder. Alright, this is this is way too many. Come on. What's happening here? Stay the hell away out of here, oil thing. Stay the hell away right out of here. Fireball, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh! Oh! There we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Fireball was coming. Shit. If if I saw me do that as a kid in the original Donkey Kong, I would have shit myself. I would have been like, Ugh, what the hell? This guy's a gamer god. I don't know how he keeps reminding rewinding time. <laughs> Don't show th this part. <laughs> we can risk losing gamer god status. Really? I gotta do this. Okay. Bitch. 
<laughs> the amount of times we had to do that to manipulate it. Sheesh. So is that a better balance collector for game audio? And myself. What the? I was gonna say. Sounds good. Oh, that doesn't. Fridge and a half of a burrito. Freddy Krueger kind of has uh, Harry from Pitfall vibes from the original Atari Pit Pitfall. The sprite looks kind of similar. I know, I, I realize we're dealing with like very simplistic characters to begin with, but... What the... See that? I don't like that. I both don't like and don't understand that. Son of a bitch. Well, the spread itself, the actual glove that would cover the palm of that, that like, sprite. So normally it's a hammer, right? It's just the handle. It's a thin pixel line, and then there's the head of the hammer. The hitbox is only at the head of the hammer, so the hitbox on the glove here, obviously, I guess is just on those blades. But if the actual glove itself, like the leather part, touches... ...an enemy, it's gonna be like the handles going through it. So I don't know if it's that, I think it's just, I think it's just, uh... They didn't change the hitbox, but they changed the graphics, and it's enough of a change to make it feel different, even though it's not different. Yes. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Sit down, Donkey Kong. Sit down, Jason. Hmm. <clears throat> no. Really, these items, you don't need to go for these items, but they give you points. I think it's better to go for the items, in my mind. Just because in the end, I think overall you get more points, but really it is also just about this, the speed in which you beat the level. Shit. No way, no way.
<laughs> literally by the pixel. We got somebody. So, uh, Collector, I saw that you were playing Shredder's Revenge recently. Did you like it? I only played through it once, and I played through it with my coworkers. It was uh, five of us total. But we beat it. I played as Splinter the whole time. It was super fun. Very uh, glitchy, though. Lots of glitches. Just like, every so often, it would randomize who would not connect to the stage. And we'd have to wait to the next level to be able to jump in, which was unfortunate. <clears throat> but visually, fantastic game, great music, and a lot of fun multiplayer. If you ever want to play it multiplayer at some point, I'm down. I was like, why can't I climb up? It's because there's a gap. <laughs> it was real fun, you love how smooth it feels, totally. So far, I've only played as Splinter. I think it's a really nice um, homage to things like Turtles in Time and Hyperstone Heist and stuff like that. It's really nice. You were playing yesterday because your game pass was running out, but once your physical copy comes next month, you're down for multiplayer. Nice. Yeah, I think I got game pass through my work. I feel about Game Pass though, I'd much prefer to buy things separately, own them, and support the creators of something with a little more, I don't know, certainty, a little more going to those creators, like I'm, I'm unsure as to who's getting the money when I'm subscribing to something like that, and I don't like the fact that something's on Game Pass for a few months and it devalues the fact that there's a physical copy, or you can buy it directly from the developer, or it's on Steam. I like I, I don't like it devaluing that. that. That feels real, real stupid. It's like let me rent this a bunch of albums from this artist, or I can buy an album from the store. Oh wait, that is how how it works. <laughs> it just it just feels a little bit gross in the gaming world, in my opinion. Don't think we need subscription services for games.
I don't subscribe to that. Oh. We did it. That's pretty much the smoothest way to do this. You're in the middle of a Splatoon match. Nice. Are you digging that game? Are you enjoying uh, Splatoon 3 so far? I haven't played any of them. Seven, hell yeah. I know we're using save states, but so at the very top, you can see it says uh, in the top right L7 next to the bonus. The bonus is going to tell us oh, <laughs> how much, how much, uh, how many points basically that we're going to get if we get to the end. And it's going down over time, so it's basically encouraging you to, to get to the end of the stage faster. It says M2 on the left, and then L7. I always thought because of Mario and Luigi that as a kid, I was like, oh, it's Mario and Luigi. But I always confuse that because it's not, it's not Luigi 7 because Luigi's not even in this game. And Mario isn't even called Mario in this. He's Jumpman. However, he can't... <laughs> Can't handle landing a friggin' jump. Wow. You like the Splatoon games a lot. There's a rare case where you pay full price for a new game. Nice. Was he Mario by the time of this port? Well, that's why there's an M, right, in the original game. But yeah, I always thought the L was for Luigi, but Luigi's not in this. The L is the loop. So obviously this is the second stage in the series, but we're on the seventh loop of this stage. And it gets harder with each one. Ah! <coughs> Come on. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. So close. Controversial take. Luigi's first appearance was in Donkey Kong Jr. What's controversial about that? favorite games is Donkey Kong Jr.'s Mansion 2. Donk Moon. Donk Moon. It 
it's a dark moon tonight. Uh huh. Hey, if uh, Nintendo's ever like, you can't use the name Three Up Moon, I'm changing my name to Donk Moon. Das Donk. This, what kind of game is this? What kind of game are we playing here? I appreciate Jason's dedication to fucking just standing still <laughs> for so long. Not even moving a muscle. It's a donk moon tonight. A horrible night for a donk moon. Come on, move. Move out of my way. There you go. In the opening of the arcade game, Mario and an identical Mario are lifting DK in a cage. Ah, in the opening of the arcade version of Donkey Kong Jr. Interesting. Luigi's regular clothes just happened to be in the wash that day. <laughs> it wasn't two Marios. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Not right now. Womp womp. Loop 8, hell yeah. Okay, no more save states, that's my rule, okay? We're just gonna go from here. We're gonna die pretty much instantly, but... No save states. We have one life left. You got three months of Game Pass to try out Shredder's Revenge, then things got in the way and you didn't end up playing it until the last day. Oh, damn. You did it specifically for, for Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, 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 the three months for one dollar. I did that too. That's how I started it. That's it. Wamp, wamp. <laughs> I died. Okay. Let's spin this wheel. We got tons of games to pick from. Let's put some music on. Holy shit. Let's knock my microphone and scare the hell out of people watching with, uh, micro with uh, headphones. Jesus. You wanted to play the Deedlet game. Oh yeah. I've heard of the Deedlets. Well, that was Freddy vs. J Jason, the Donkey Kong edition. It's actually a pretty funny way to play the OG Donkey Kong. We're going to spin the wheel, and it's going to land on game number 67. So many games to pick from. We've got over 800 from Atari 2600 to N64 that are all spooky or horror-themed or Halloween-themed. And we're diving into... Ghostbusters on the Genesis. All right, I don't think I've played this one. Ghostbusters on the Genesis. Let's give it a shot. I've only ever played the NES games. Stick around. Yeah, I, I 
kind of agree, Collector. Um, Game Pass doesn't really jive with the way I do things either. It doesn't. It's not terrible, but it's just not the way I prefer to like buy games and play games. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna... Fix that. And here we are. This is Ghostbusters on the Genesis. I've never played it. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Ghostbusters movies. I like the first two. I have not seen Afterlife. We have played the Sega Master System version of Ghostbusters, and it was awful. So I hope this is not just a port. This is by Activision way back. Sprites from this one. It's an action platformer. I like it. Hmm. That's what I thought. The controller needs to be reset. Super cool, though. I'm down. Um, so, sorry about this nonsense. I just have to sometimes reset my controller. So, just one moment.
All right. Okay. You should be able to. Yes, and the start button works. Option mode. Game level normal. We're definitely not playing on a hard mode, that's for sure. Let's go. Who we gonna be? Is it Peter? Or is it gonna be Raymond? Or maybe we'll be Egon? Who's it gonna be? Peter kind of looks like uh, Jack Torrance from The Shining. <laughs> Let's do it. Thankman. Recently, there's been a lot of ghostly activity happening here and there. Yeah, we'll have work. Why do we look like newspaper caricatures? I don't know. Hello, help me, Ghostbusters. Ghosts have appeared in my home. Now, that wasn't a tonal whiplash moment at all. Let's just jump into music. Show a depressed Bill Murray in the top left. And give you access to the car. <laughs> She's sad too. The tables move by themselves, and the shelves fly around in the house. Okay, let's figure this shit out. Oh. Okay, we got bombs. A bomb, jump on it. Oh, and a slimer, and we're dead. Slimer and got something. Nope. <laughs> that was extremely lucky. Holy shit. Who the hell are you? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a spring. Okay. I don't understand it. <clears throat> but we'll use it. Interesting. Oh, that just brings us back. That is odd. Strange design. Okay. 
Also, I'm not quite sure why the Ghostbusters mummify instantaneously when they die. Is there some sort of connection to Egypt? When I think of Ghostbusters, I think more about a portal to hell than Egypt. Ten continues because we know that you're gonna die a million times. That makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Bombs. I'll buy one. Yeah. G-Tank. He looks like Dr. Wily too, and we just bought we just basically just bought an energy tank from Dr. Wily. <laughs> Dr. Wally. Definitely the type of game where you want to be strategic with when and how you use things. And clearly, I'm not doing that. Whoop. Not sure that's what I wanted again. Oh, we didn't go this way. Maybe it is what I wanted. Oh, shit. Mr. Peanut? What the? It's a Warrior Land 4 boss. What? <laughs> what a waste. Let's try this again. It's a headless Mr. Peanut. Come on, let's go. I can't tell how much damage we're doing to the boss, if we are. <clears throat> For some reason, just the way his like cartoony, dangly legs move, it reminds me of... It just like locks in with the the wild melody that's going on in the music. Pretty funny. We have Peking Duck. 
Yes. I like this pause music. Wasted an opportunity. Like I heal, but I wasted our opportunity. We got like no help. It's bullshit. Woo! What other game can you play as the Where's my life aquatic video game? my lost in translation point and click. Please. And thank you. Oh. oh, you son of a... Like, what am I supposed to do there? Nothing. of Mr. Peanut. Oh, that's just dumb. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, shit, he's loose. He's loose. <laughs> oh, my... Got him. Look at his face. He's like if, uh, if Ren Hook from Ren and Stimpy did the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z with Stimpy. say you idiot so much that you become the idiot. Oh shit. Yeah. That was the most satisfying aspect of this whole game. I got it. Yep. Did that make it all worth it? Absolutely. Sleeping good. 
I'm mean when I'm tired. Oh shit. Oh my. Jeez. That sucks. I did not expect a surprise boss fight. Take you to the boss? Nope. That sucks even more. It makes you start from the beginning of the level again. That's bullshit. Oof. Ghost busted. So far we've had two licensed games, so to speak. Kind of. Based on licensed properties, like Freddy vs. Jason and then this. I think it would be interesting, because we're not that far, is to uh, try one of these other characters here. Low stamina for Egon, but he's super fast. Let's do it. Not even sure what the energy is used for. Because it's not running out over time. life, but we're stuck. There we go. Can you imagine just replacing Samus's sprite in uh, Super Metroid with this sprite? Like just playing as Egon instead. Faster, you can dodge those bullets a little easier. Oh, 
damn it. Damn it. <laughs> what a waste. That sucks. Spinning the wheel, folks. The ghost has been busted. We are spinning it, and it is landing on game number 20. All right, what is game number 20 in the list? Game 20 is oh, interesting. We actually played this on Halloween last year. All Hallows Eve. This is a... Uh, basically Ghosts and Goblins ROM hack from the original NES Ghosts and Goblins. It's a hard mode ROM hack of Ghosts and Goblins. We played Super Ghosts and Goblins on the Game Boy Advance recently. We played Super Ghosts and Goblins on the, the uh, Super Nintendo recently as well. But this is the original one and uh, someone made this hack a while ago. It's Halloween themed obviously uh, and specifically was released on Halloween I think and then we actually played it on Halloween for our Halloween stream last year. So if you want to go check that out on YouTube, you can after this. And yeah, stick around for All Hallows Eve.
Okay, I just forgot I had laundry <laughs> that I had to go change. <coughs> okay, let's do this, this, and you should hear me, and hear the game. There we go. Ghosts and Goblins, All Hallows Eve, made in 2001. Let me know if it's too loud. Okay. 
Wow, it's uh, seems like it's running quite fast, but it's actually not. Or maybe that's part of the hack, is that it runs way faster. my platforming. gonna slide off. things. Worst enemies. Worst enemies. Let me know if the uh, volume is okay, if it's too low, too, too loud. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't, uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Can't cheat those things. That 
wasn't easy. You just have to do a, a blind leap of faith there. Oh. Oh wow, we have to do this. Son of a bitch. Oh. Didn't even consider that that was a gap. Oh, come on. Oh, get out of here. Fuck that, he's just pinching a loaf. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Don't pinch any loaves over here. Get out of here. It's like, fuck right off. So frustrating. Fuck off, come over here. Oh, fuck you. 
This game is just so frustrating already. Don't give me this nonsense placement. You can't hesitate even for one fucking frame. because we're running out of time. That's stupid. That is dumb. Fucking dumb. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on. Yikes. Yes, I realize we're playing a hard mode hack of ghosts and goblins, but still, some bullshit. So tough to be accurate with the fireball on this. So tough. I can't imagine if this was your only game, if you had the original Ghosts and Goblins and this was your only game on the NES, and this is like all you had. I can't imagine that being. You either become a god gamer or you burn your NES console. <laughs> just evolved to me grunting. <sighs> Way too close. <laughs> no ledge grabs. No ledge grabs for you. Okay. Let's go. This time it would be cool if we don't die. Please don't die. Well. When I spin, when I spin, when I spin the spooky wheel. When I spin, when I spin, we're gonna land on game number 375. Let's see it. Game number 375 is...
Oh, come on, load for me. 375 is Castlevania, the new generation on the Mega Drive or the Genesis. Is this the one with Patrick Stewart, the new generation? Uh, this is also, this is Castlevania Bloodlines. All right. So I haven't played this one as part of the series yet. So let's dive in to a Genesis Castlevania game. Stick around. So this is Castlevania The New Generation, or Castlevania Bloodlines, up next. this one before. I don't think we've played this one on stream yet as part of this series. And if you're just joining, happy Friday. 
This is episode 30 of our spooky and horror and Halloween themed retro roulette. We're going to be doing a lot of this throughout the month of October. And is it October yet? No. But let's extend it a little bit. Why not? Okay, let's get, not get too carried away with the music there. Let's yeah, jump right in. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> Just dive right in. We can play as John Morris, born December 12th, 1895, in Texas, USA. Weapon, the Vampire Killer. Which, of course, is the legendary whip that the Belmont family has. I don't understand why someone who's not in the family, unless John Morris is a descendant. <coughs> oh, whoa. That was a cough and a half. Cough still thing here. Yikes. <clears throat> Segovia, Spain, with the Alcard Spear. Alucard Dracula. I say let's use John Morris. <clears throat> Just to start. Thank you. 
So of course this existed alongside Super Castlevania 4, which does a lot of really cool things with the franchise, and I think is just a really nice love letter to the very first Castlevania game. And honestly, it's one of my favorite series if I had to pick a another retro series that really resonates with me. Classic 2D Castlevania. Perfect. <clears throat> Interesting. So you don't collect hearts, you collect gems, and the gems allow you... They work the same as hearts, really. They allow you to use your secondary weapon. That's how I'm understanding it. Yeah. Oh shit. You can do like a... Ah, there's alternate attacks. I like that. found a book. <clears throat> a book just as important as wall meat. I mean, this game is pretty good so far. I will say that Dracula X and Super Castlevania 4 feel much better to play. Like, if I'm playing Super Castlevania 4 for the same amount of time I've been playing this one, and same thing with Dracula X, I'm a little more engaged. This is still awesome. But keep in mind, this was the only way that you could if you had a Sega Genesis, this is the only way you could really experience the Castlevania series at the time. Like if you just had a Sega Genesis, it gave you a taste of uh, the series. Oop. this health we have. We're in Moon Doom mode again. Unintentional one-hit KO mode. took us out. That sucks. That sucks. Oh! Cool, I like that there's variations on the sub weapon attacks that you can do. Nice.
<clears throat> oh, look at this whip. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Seems like a waste of a, of a power up. And yes, wall meat. We actually found some wall meat. playing some Castlevania the new generation or Castlevania Bloodlines which was basically the Sega Genesis's answer to Super Castlevania 4 Dracula X I don't know the order that these are all released but it is the only Genesis Castlevania game thank you for the hydrate Whoa. Moon Doom mode. One HP gain. Never mind. <laughs> Phew. Oops. I shot it at the wrong one. Conspiracy. I'll get a bowl of the uh, off the fresh sheet. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna order the Illuminati, the, the fettuccine Illuminati that you have there. It sounds delicious. It sounds malicious. Okay, there's three here. Three little platformos. What? Who are you? Okay, it is doing damage to him. Fettuccine uh, Illuminati there, sir, but uh, unless you say that code word. Oh, 
No. We're just not that agile. Mm. Are you gonna start me here? Don't die, don't die. Yes. Oh. Oh. Why is it like this Windows like style fanfare? That was a really awful fanfare. Press start to play. Press start to next stage. Alright. From Romania to a Greek shrine to Atlantis. That is a horseman. Oh. No, 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 I'm not saying it. No matter what you ride, I'm not gonna pronounce it. <laughs> You're trying. <clears throat> Man, why you gotta be that way? around here not really
Oh. <clears throat> a one-up? I'm not getting it. I'm not going for it. That's a nice dodge. After three up moments, one ups are beneath three up. Yeah, I mean, I could get three one ups to make one three up, but that's just. I don't have time for that. Exactly, it underscores my moodness. Hold on to this bottle for me, sir! Please catch this bottle! Don't let it fall. Oh no! That actually did nothing that was really not beneficial for us to waste those. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Sir, no, whatever you do, don't drop the bottle. No! Shouldn't have done it. Okay, don't get that. Did hit him once at one time. That's bullshit. I figured out how to do it, but now I'm stuck in a hilarious safe state situation. So close. No, we just can't, we can't miss any of the shots. You can't miss any of the shots you don't take, you know what I mean? You know what they say. If you don't take any shots, then you'll never be able to miss any shots. Yes? Yes? Yes?
Oh no. No! Another boss? Are you kidding me? You're gonna put me right into another boss fight. Bosses. Holy shit. Three in a row. boss fights now? Is like lava. Yes. <laughs> there we go.
That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're back to the 1 HP gang. <clears throat> Oh, interesting. That's cool. It's a really neat way to form a platform. Visually. his face off of that as he fell that was that did not look good for him I think I might actually call it and just hang out in the Discord. 
not, not a lot of people hanging about, and I feel like we played a decent amount of spooky games today, including some weird Donkey Kong conversion and uh, ghou uh, ghouls and ghosts, or ghosts and goblins, from that. So this was Castlevania Bloodlines, or the new generation. And uh, I want to say thanks to everyone who's been hanging out. I really appreciate it. This is part 30 of our spooky and Halloween and horror themed retro roulette. I want to say thank you to Retro Chaos for the recent follow, and thanks to Prismatic Rhythm and Horatio Outside for the recent raids, and everyone that has been subscribing on YouTube. So if you're watching right now, I'll see you in the next part in part 31 of our Halloween and spooky horror themed retro roulette. I'm going to be taking a break from streaming for two days. I'll be back on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific, and I'm going to be hanging out in the Discord right now. So if you are a member of the Discord, feel free to hang out there. I will see you then, and stick around, because we're going to raid somebody. And I think we're going to raid our good friend. Ah, uh, we, we always raid the same people. Should we change it up? Let's change it up. Let's change it up. Somniatis streams. Somniatis streams. Not that Somniatis streams isn't a friend, but here you go. I will see you in Somni's stream. I will see you in the next part on Monday or in the Discord. Take care, everyone, and happy Friday.